Hello everyone, Mr. Schultz here for intro to module 11, precision versus accuracy. So let's put that in. Don't forget that you need to have your first name and your last name in the top right hand corner. So we are dealing with, once again, precision versus accuracy. So precision where you repeatedly produce the same result, also known as reproducible having ability. So, you know, what's what's this? Well, now that means if you have like a target and you shoot like 10 times. I mean, if you look at this target right here and you keep shooting at it in the same location, that's precision. You shoot in the same location, that's precision. Now, you aren't going to win any awards for that, but someone's going to notice and be like, hey, you hit it in the same spot. Great job. But you need to aim lower and to the right. Now, this is as opposed to accuracy. The accuracy is the nearness of the measurement to the true value of the measurement. So you throw the dart and you hit the bull's eye. The bull's eye. So once again, if we have this shape right here and you hit right there. Now, that's being accurate. Now, you might not be as precise every single time, but you could be like, hey, look, I'm accurate here. So, let's have some examples. So, if you have high accuracy and high precision, you know, you're gonna have a, let's, let's do a different color. Let's do maybe yellow. So, if you have high accuracy and you throw like, you know, five shots, that's highly accurate and precise. Well, if you have high accuracy, you know, but you're not so precise, you're gonna be like, yeah, I hit right there. You know, I hit here, I hit here, I hit here, and I hit here. Now, that's not very precise because it's, you know, it's spread out, but it's very accurate. You hit in one spot, like you're like, I got it. Now, you know, if you have high precision, but you're not accurate, you know, let's go red this time. You know, you're going to be like, all right, bam, 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 bam. You know, everyone's going to look at you and be like, well, you know, you didn't hit the tar you know, bullseye, but like you got them all in the right spot. So that means like if you're like aiming and you're like, pew, 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 and you fire some shots at the, the range, hey, you hit all in the same area. That means you held it pretty steady. Now, if you're, you know, have low accuracy and you have low precision, well, that means it's all over the place. All right, let's go on. So here's the question. Would you rather be precise or accurate? It depends on the context, but be sure to explain, give at least two sentences. Be explain, hey, I'd rather be blank because blank. All right, let's go on. So here's some cross-curricular measurement certainty right here. If you are measuring volume of something or you're measuring anything, you have to be precise. So if you're looking at this, um, you have to understand that you're measuring, so if you're measuring a graduated center right here, like this is called the meniscus right here. I mean, I could write it in, the meniscus. So I think it's M-E-N-miscus. So here's the meniscus. It's the lowest part right here. So I would say this is like, it would be 21, 21 point, I would say 21.56 like or something like that. But if we were like 
rounding, I'd be like, hey, it looks 20.5 or something like that. Maybe 20.56, maybe 20.6. But you have to be precise. You can't just be like, oh, it's 20. No, it's not. Or you'd be like, hey, it's 21. Well, maybe the top part, but it's the bottom part. But you should have learned this in your science class. Like, hey, you have to measure from this meniscus. Oh, meniscus. There's a C right there. So we always we would always want to be both accurate and precise. So whatever you were saying previously, you know, we want to be accurate and precise. Make sure you are justifying. So let's write that in. Justifying your math work with reasons. So this is going into module 12 right here. I know this is the intro to module 11, but like this is going into module 12 right here. So you're gonna justify your math work with reasons. Well, let's go into this. So if we're gonna solve an equation with justifications, you know, the first thing we're gonna be like, hey, look, this is our given. Well, what I would do is I'd probably do the, there, there. so let's hold up. There are multiple ways for you to solve any equation. Looking at this, I can solve this multiple ways. I could divide by two and then I could add the fractions and blah, 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 blah. But for right now, I'm gonna take it step by step the easiest way. So I'd probably wanna do the distributive property. So right now I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna use the distributive property to multiply this out. So the left side, nothing happens. So I get 5x plus 3 is equal to 2 times x minus 2 times 4. That's the distributive property. Multiply 2 to everything inside the parentheses. All right, next up, what would we want to do? Well, I'd probably want to move the x's to one side. Now, I could, as we're doing this, I could move the numbers to one side. You know, it just depends on what do you want to do. So I get 5x minus 2x is 3x plus 3 is equal to negative 8. So I use the subtraction property. And heck, I could, like, put in this into text. The subtraction property, property of equality. The next part, I probably want to minus three on both sides. So I probably want to do the subtraction property of equality on both sides again. Well, let's do it. So I'm going to want to minus three on both sides. And so I get 3x plus 0 is equal to negative 11. Well, what am I going to do now? Well, I'd probably divide by 3 on both sides. When I divide by 3 on both sides, I'm going to be using the division property of equality. So I get 3x and I'd probably get 3x divided by 3 is equal to negative 11 thirds. And heck, for this last step, I'd probably go, hey, look, I'm going to have x is equal to negative 11 thirds. And that's just simplification. There we go. So at this moment, understand that you have to justify your work. What are you doing? And so when we get to module 12, you are going to do the work. And then on the other side, justify it with your reason. Do the work. Justify. What are you doing? I'm subtracting two on both sides. Okay, what is that? The subtraction property of equality by two on both sides. All right, guys. I'll catch you later, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.